before Sunday, I was feeling a pain in my heart. And I was thinking just the thing of the world. I was not thinking anything negative to God. When you say your heart was pain, what type of pain? I was just feeling pain in my heart. Just pain. Pain in your heart? Yes, I did not know what happened there. And you said your thoughts were in things of the world? Yes. How? Can you explain to the children of God? Because many are sitting here like the Holy Spirit ushered the words. Many are here. They are looking for salvation. They came here so that they can have a relationship with the Word of God, with God, with our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. But what the enemy does is to sit in their heart. The purpose for which they came will be neglected until the end of the service and their problems remain. So what were you thinking? What are some of those things, those worldly thoughts you had that your mind was going on it, even in the house of God, before your deliverance? My mind was just going of Nigeria thing, holy thing, how you can behave. As I can just see like this, I was just thinking that maybe I will have this thing in my house, maybe I will have done this thing like this, now like this. So for how long will your thoughts in a day, in an hour, go to these things? Almost every day, because when you mention the word of God, I will be angry with you. You can see uh, the husband is nodding the head and at the same time smiling that it is like there was an issue in the house in which maybe the husband noticed before the wife's deliverance. So, if we can listen to the husband, Brother, we see you smiling when your wife said she was really thinking about worldly things, uh, the things she was supposed to have and not the word of God. And we saw you smiling. Is there anything of this nature that you drew her attention uh, back home as a husband? Yes, man of God. So, can you share with the children of God what transpired between the two of you as a, a Christian family? Because what, who you have as a wife, has been given to you by God. Yes, man of God. As she said, Nigeria thing, and when they talk about the word of God, it'll be a battle. Like a battle. Anytime when I came back home, I said, you cannot you see, take your Bible. Anytime when I'm back home, I'm only seeing you Nigeria film, I'm now seeing you with Bible. I gave you a channel here that you can I leave you, you know. Anytime you have been getting me up, uh, you see, get up, or get up and read. You say you want to read your Bible this time and you are sleeping. Please get up. It's already time. You are the one forcing me to, to follow the word of God. When I talk, you are old. You don't want it. Why? So she is encouraging you. Man of God, she is the one. And she, she is not doing it herself. Lord of Jesus, there is something we are supposed to understand here. We have to be very careful with our lives. That is how we have encouraged people to change, to give their lives to Christ, and we remain where we are. The fact that you have encouraged somebody to read the word, and the person is in the Lord, and you are not, you have no reward. So your wife will encourage you to read the word, to get up and pray, and she herself, she will not be ready to do it. And if you tell her that, but you have told me to get up to read the word, I am reading. What is happening with you? What will she say? You just say, I will do my, I will do my after. <laughs> Immediately I cover my eye when I get up. Nigeria film. Blood of Jesus. Praise every. Blood of Jesus. Praise you. Do you have another thing to say? Yes. Yes. Last week Sunday, I paid my tithes and I have open doors. You paid your tithes? Yes. And you had open doors? Yes. Can you tell the children? Was it the first time you were paying your tithes? Yes. Glory of God. What are you doing? What 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 are you doing to earn a living? I'm a teller. Are you sewing? Yes. Why did you 
choose to pay your tithes last week? I don't know. But you had a divided heart. Your heart was in things of the world. What? Why did you choose to pay your tithes and you were delivered of a heart that was not willing to serve God? Because I was, before they stole my heart, I was I pray to God that he should give me a work where I will give 50% of my first job to Jesus. So I worked 2,000 and I have to pay tithes. One five. So after you paid your tithes, what happened? I have opened doors. People started to bring their dresses for me to show. Yeah. So just tell the children of. You said people have started coming. Yes. They are coming. Yes, one of God. So why do you think that it is because of the tithes that you paid that people have started coming? It's a tithe because. Since I did not pay the tithes, I did not have anything, and nobody was coming. Over six months, nobody was coming. Over six months. Nobody came to you for to sow even a handkerchief. Yes. And you said when you paid tithes, one thousand five hundred francs. After you must have worked two thousand. Yes. People started coming. How many people did you receive this week? Almost like. Four people. Four in a week? Yes. So what is your word of advice? My word of advice is to be focused and patient. We have to be focused and be patient. Tell your neighbor, without focus. Without focus. The Lord has not heard you. Without focus. And patient. And patient. You will never. You will never. Have. Have. Purity. Of the, of the heart, and you cannot see God. A man of faith is a man of patience. A woman of faith is a woman of focus. An advice to the husband. I will just say a, a small thing. This is somebody who does not have, as she's saying that she have uh, she, people have been coming. You don't have any place to to see and sewing. They are bringing but they are dressing into the house. People who do not even know the house where they wish. We are finding she is finding them coming to them to her. Are we hearing what the husband is saying? Oh, yes. The wife does not have a shop. Neither are they living in a road junction where they have a signboard. In the quarter where they are staying, people are struggling to come and knock the door. There is a tailor here. Can we put our hands together? <laughs> As you take your seats.